What's up guys and gals, Shady Mechanic here, welcome to Rust. So, in this video I'm going to be showing you... A way I found is the best way to run electricity in the game. So we're going to go ahead and go out here. What the hell? Um, put down our windmill. Now you could put your windmill right there it would work not a big deal but if we look here 66 so this thing's capable of 150 so like I've got these over here those are up on like stilts so what we're gonna do is we're gonna give ourselves another windmill we're going to kill this one. And we're going to make um, stilts. I've seen windmills up on just a, a single um, stack of stilts. But for this video, I'm going to go ahead and do it the way that I usually do it. So we're going to go up about six blocks I think and where's my ladder right there so we're gonna need some let's see some nets some nets you can make with rope you can make them in your inventory um, you don't need a workbench Fall off of here. What is that? One, two, three, four, five. So one more. Okay, there you go. This is, I mean, honestly, if you're playing on a PvP, this is probably a little bit overkill, but. So now we'll look at it. 104. So that's not bad. So let's go ahead and we'll grab that. Take it down here with us. Now I think I mentioned there's a lot of different ways to do this. This is just the easiest way that I've found to do this. Would you? Thanks. Let's get over here. Put that there. I think our battery is in this one. But I want to go over here. That's what I want to do. We'll come down this wall. So we'll run in here. Put this here for now. I'm going to grab a couple of these. So I need two of these. One there. One there. So configure. You can leave that one at two. Go ahead and put your... No, that's not right. We know we want this one to go to the switch. That's what we want. So we'll go to the switch. Try to make this somewhat pretty. Do that. No, I didn't want to do that. I was right the first time. You were looking at me second guessing myself. No. Second guess myself again. We'll figure this out. Let's go back to the... Take from the switch, go up here. Go into this one. This needs to go out. Down to that one. We're going to set this one at 20, because that's really all a battery needs to charge in this game. A large battery. So we'll take that over and put that there. So that, we need to go into this. We'll put this right here. The two from this first switch branch needs to come out and down and go into the side of this pass through. So when this is on, this is blocked. All right. 
So we need to take our output from our battery, put that in there. It's there's a hundred. With the switch off, it'll turn this on. Okay. So we'll turn that off. Then we need to go to this. I think this is an XOR switch. So this needs to go. We need one, the power from the um, blocker it needs to go to one side of this so that when we turn this off, that lights up one side with the battery, okay? So when this is on, it blocks the battery, and then we can take our um, second input and go over here to the other side of this branch, if I can get... Thanks. Okay, so now that's lit up. Now we have power out, all right? So we have a blocker. Let me give myself a couple more blockers. Give two. So we'll put a couple of these down. Like this. So what you want to do here is you'll take... Well, first you'll grab the wire tool, not the hammer. That out goes into your first one. And then you can configure this to, like, say you want 25 power out to a turret. So that needs to be the first thing in your branch. Because you're solely running off windmill power right now. If your windmill power goes out, this is what the switch represents. Somebody just took out your windmill. Well, guess what? Now you have battery backup. So you're, you know, all your turrets and everything still work. All right. So and then with your power that's left over out, basically just go over here and you daisy chain into the next branch. And then you can say, I want 15 power for lights. Okay, there you go. Now you got lights. Now you just daisy chain this guy over to the next branch. Just like that. And there you go. That is... And then you could wire in a, a counter. You could actually do a couple counters. You could do power in. Um, you could do <clears throat> whatever power you have um, left over. Let's grab... Where the hell's the lights at? There they are. Let's grab two of these. Grab the switch. And <clears throat> where is the memory cell? So we'll put a couple lights in here. This would probably be honestly plenty for um, like a PvP server. So let's take this one power out that we decided was going to be for lights. Bring it over here down into there, back up into our light, and then we just pass through into the next light. So there we go, now we have lights. Alright, and that's only using 15, so you could do about 7 lights on that, which is plenty, really. But, um... And then, like I said, if we gave ourselves a give ourselves a turret, put him out here. I think he has to be on the roof. So we got an auto, auto turret. Base him away from us. And then we will grab power in. We'll just run that over here. Probably have him run full time without a switch. And we'll just put him right in this. And you hear he just turned on. So, there's that. And we can just daisy chain that, and that'll show you how much power is left over out of this branch. So, 50, what do we got coming in? We got. It's just about maxed out <clears throat> power wise so our battery should be charging 
which it is, and we can change that. Say you wanted to give it 40, but that, you know, that takes that much more away from your overall power. But now he's charging fairly quickly. So, yeah. And then, like I said, if something happens to your windmill, it's all backed up by battery. And your battery is 100. So let's see, this will run, well, this will run about six minutes on the charge it had, but you switch it back, you know, you get your windmill put back up or whatever, and do it that way. So, pretty, uh, pretty easy way to use multiple amounts of windmills, batteries. Um, I have a base, my base over here, over there. I have six backup batteries, but this is my own personal server, and there's hardly ever anybody on it, so... But anyway, I hope this video helps somebody. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Um, I will answer you as soon as I see it. Um, if you like this video, leave me a like. Don't have to subscribe, but I would appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.